Ah, good day, guys. As you all know me, as a mentor, Nasdaq Ninja. So, guys, before I can continue, can you please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified once I upload? So, guys, uh, today we're gonna talk about Nas hundred and USDT. And about the previous video, if you can check very well, guys, on the previous video, we actually analyzed USDT and Nas hundred and Euro USD. You understand? So, in USDT and Nas hundred, we got like. Those buys during London session were milked. And then around 12 there, South African type were milked as well. But if you didn't lock your profit or you didn't close your profit, around uh, 1530, the market decided to do what? Gave us like a buy and then it decided to sell heavily. You understand? So which is like it could have took people out. So those are the things that you got to check before you... you 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 do everything you understand so on the previous video that's what actually happened you understand the market uh gave us two uh consecutively buy and then on the third one it decided to sell so that's how it is so now we're gonna analyze again guys reanalyze and check what is it that the market is giving us so i have a new idea that i'm gonna implement in a way that i wanna even like favor people that trade currency so we're gonna upload indices video and then we upload currencies video so every time we're gonna give you guys two videos in a day you understand so that you guys can do it you can benefit both sides if you want to trade currencies you can trade currencies if you want to trade indices trade indices. as much as i always say it only depends on which structure you see very well if you think on your state i analyzed very well enter your state you understand because now you can't enter something that you don't see because i said it's a buy now you're gonna lose capital you gotta enter something that you see you get the point so here guys uh i'm gonna create my 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 current highest point there on the diagonal resistant and then i'm going to create places whereby when the market touches the market reverses so guys there's a diagonal support that's a diagonal resistance so when you say trend lines don't work together with support and resistant what are you talking about because still they're both being called support and resistant it's just the other one is diagonal and the other one is horizontal so it's the same thing you get the point so there's just a diagonal resistance there's just a diagonal support so most of the cases in the rule of trend lines we know very well that the market have to reach them and that is a rule you understand so let me say let me try something and see what is it that this one can give me when i clone this trend line you know it can give me the same thing i feel like it's giving me the same thing so that's where we actually heading you understand so let me just uh increase this trend line and then put it there and then one thing that you gotta understand guys about the market the market can play around uh, as much as it wants it can move here and come here and then move to the top side it's possible you know that's how the market moves so now we're gonna push to the daily time frame and see what is it that we have on a daily time frame so on a daily time frame we have a beautiful uh high lows high lows high high and high lows so as much as you can see here the market broke here and then decided to do a to retest here so that's how the market been moving you know and it's not something new we've seen that throughout the month when january started you understand so that's how the market been moving been going higher high higher low higher high higher low so now if you can check we have our higher high and then we have our higher low so the possibilities of us breaking this high high it's high you understand but it will define by the market once we keep on analyzing so now what are we gonna do guys we're gonna push straight to h4 and see what is it that we have on h4 because i remember very well that we had a falling wedge understand so as much as you remember that we are actually going to the top don't forget that one because if you forget i don't know guys understand so at this certain point guys we had what we call a falling wedge remember i did analyze it and actually uh i mean a rising wedge we did have a rising wedge and then we did analyze it on the previous video and then we said it's a reversal rising wedge in a way that once it clicked the third one it has to sell you know we got this kind of buy here and then this was the whole sell you know so the sell we didn't even catch neither of it but yesterday we caught the buy somewhere here and which was like incredible trade we caught the buy uh here which was a nice trade you know so uh, one thing that I want for sure guys to see, right, here we have like what we call a head and shoulder, you know, so and and I, I'm at the point whereby I haven't yet started that knowing that if we are on a bearish market on, or we're on a bullish market, yes, via analysis, we are on a, a bullish market, we paid on bullish market whereby sooner or later we have to be on a bearish market, you understand, so here if you can see there's a simple head and shoulder and which Ever we got to go with analysis, we have to respect head and shoulder here. So this is our resistant here. 
So if it breaks this, that's when we'll do it. We'll take our buying opportunities above this. But as much as we are below this, we're taking selling opportunities. So we're going to put it as a zone because it once created a bigger movement. You can see very well. So let's push to 60 minutes time frame. Let's push to 60 minutes time frame. Although I feel like this one is too weak. So this is what I can tell you for now. I feel like the resistance is going to be broken due to that. The market can never ever come here and then sell very well. It knows how many people are watching there, which is something that we can actually like kill it very hard. So this is how the analysis is going. If you take it from this point, you're gonna take a buy. If you're taking above this, it's a it's a it's a buy above, it's a it's a sell below side. You understand? Due to that, if you can check this, just the head and shoulder, beautiful one, it touched this other side here, and then it touched the other side here as well. You understand? So Let's push to 30 minutes time frame and see what is it that we see. 30 minutes time frame. I think it's a it's a proper sell, guys. It's a proper sell. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go based on analysis. Remember, if it breaks the top side, that's when we're gonna take the buying opportunities. We don't take the buying opportunities below a resistance. You know, sometimes yes, due to experience, I can do that, but you know, it's risky, guys, because you can lose all your capital you're doing that. And then you gotta follow the analysis. So here I just wanna see, yeah, we have like a, a third touch that can uh possibly happen whereby it can give us our buying opportunities but at the end of the day guys here just focus most on the selling opportunities your take profit will be here let's actually take this point and put it here below side the stop loss we put it here so once we get to get here once we broke here then you become the most confident person in the market you get the point so you can just take your take profit here simple easy hit it and then you relax understand so that's how it is Let's jump into Nasdaq and see what is it that we have. Remember, guys, if it breaks in the top side, you're taking buying opportunities. Here, it's sort of like a sell. If it breaks this support, actually, you take your selling opportunities because this could be like a retest, possible retest here. In this sense. So, but at the end of the day, for now, let's confirm a sell. So now we are on Nasdaq. We're going to remove everything. And then we see what is it that Nasdaq has for us. Nasdaq, it, it's been like in a, in a good manner, I can say. It's been in a good manner because I feel like I tend to understand it more than uh, the other uh, trading, or I can say symbols. Okay, so here we're going to create our current low and our highest point here. So we're going to create places whereby the market touches, the market reverses. Let's start with the trend line, the diagonal trend line. So I think we're going to take it here. You see, it nearly touched, it nearly touched, which is like something that, you know, when it comes to the market, it makes sense, understand? Because if I go to the waves, I believe that it touched. Yeah, the wave they did touch, you see, the wave they did touch, you know, the wave, they don't actually uh, go for rejection, they only go for candlesticks, understand? So if I can do it like this now, and then go straight to the market, you're going to see, uh, this was the candlestick. You understand? It's not the rejection. You see where the rejection is. And I like taking it straight to the rejection, you know, but it's still a rule for you to use it like this. It's still a rule, don't get me wrong, but I like using it like this because I feel like the rejection are the most strongest points. That is why they take most of the people out. So I want where people were taken out, not where people were entering trades, you know, because I know very well they know we're going to enter straight at that certain point. You get the point. So, as much as you can see here, let's just create places where the market touches the market reverses as always and normal. Uh, let's quickly create that. Let's create that. You know, the market is kind of like tricky at the moment. By which direction can, can we go in, in overall, you understand? But due to analysis, we can figure out that selling opportunities will be there. Will be there and they've been there, you understand? So at the end of the day, you got to try to figure out where you're going to catch them. But if certain positions are being broken, you got to enter based on... You know, what you analyze, enter what you analyze. You're going to see the probabilities of winning will be more than when you lose, you understand? But if you enter what you think, but not what the market says, then you're going to lose a lot of capital. You get the point. So you always have to enter what the market says to you. You understand? This this thing is actually like talking to you. You know, once you're busy developing those trend lines, everything, you get to understand where the market is going. You understand? So we have a rising wedge again here. Beautiful rising edge. And it even led 
finished the, the journey. So which make it super easy. Remember, guys, 1530, they don't take the same direction. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that. And then we put our stop loss here, take profit. I'm not afraid to put it there. This is Nasdaq. I know very well that once it takes the direction, it will reverse. Understand? So one thing first, I'll do this. So there's a daily time frame. Yo, it could take us 15 days just to get there. So that's an overall direction. You get the point. And then the other thing is that once you enter there, you're still on the right position. You can enter very well. You can see the market is rejecting this candlestick. Once the market rejects the candlestick, created an unshaven candlestick, it's so possible that it will push to the bottom side. You understand? So let's go to H4. So you can see on H4, we just see a proper nice trend line. You understand? So now I just see a major key here. I hardly use major key these days, but you can see this is a beautiful one, guys. Uh, we're gonna come here and do our sell here, and then yeah, we are going straight to the bottom side. Let's not forget that one 90% rule, and then we stop loss here. Yeah, so so beautiful, guys. You see, Nasdaq went easy. So now we want to start seeing that Nasdaq it's easy. Focus on Nasdaq. That's how it is. You focus on what it's becoming easy when you analyze. Don't focus on something that you don't see because you think it moves better than the other. You know, that's what I always do. Though I'm not saying something that I don't do. And I believe that other mentors are doing that. You know, in a way that you feel like USDT pays more than Nasdaq. So now you gotta enter Nasdaq. You gotta enter USDT. I mean, so we don't trade like that. In my world, I no longer trade like that. Okay, let's go to 30 minutes time frame. Everything is, is perfect, 30 minutes time frame. Like I told you guys, we're going to upload separate video. That one will be based on currency. So here, guys, one thing that I can show you for sure is something easy. We just have to check here what's, what went down here. So the market, uh, yo, okay, let's, let's quickly do this. So here we can just create our support and resistant. So let's start with this one here. So which is something that the market can come and touch here if it wants to do another thing. Then let's get our resistant uh, somewhere here. There's a resistant here. Let's reset. So you see, so possible of the market to sell, it's very high. You can see this kind of like uh, the market came here and then touched here. And then now we're coming here. We can push a little bit. The next thing we are here. And then if you want to go up, yes, we can go up possible, but I'm looking for selling opportunities at the moment. Long term wise, just the selling opportunities. So guys, at the end of the day, guys, this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video, guys. I hope and believe you're going to catch the sales. Let's make money, guys. Remember, guys, making money makes sense.